When I tested the Wilson DynaPower driver, I was insanely impressed. In fact, I was that impressed, I even put it in the back. So today I'm gonna to be testing some of the game improvement irons from Wilson, the DynaPower irons, and I'll be honest, if the driver is anything to go by, these irons right here, yes, these right here, have to be some of the most underrated irons on the market in 2024. I mean, look at them there, right? They're so visually nice to look at. Plus, they're actually insane value for money. For a set, you're looking just over 600 pounds. And for what I've read with the tech in here, <laughs> That feels like pretty good value for money compared to the competitors on the market. Like, I'll be honest, I really think these could be very underrated. Now, we're not just going to test them on a range, test them on one hole. That was it. I'm going to put these to the actual test so you know whether it's worth investing in some new irons or you've maybe been thinking about these irons in general. We're going to play three holes. I'm going to hit so many shots. I'm going to try and move the ball, test the ball flight, and give you some actual real feedback on how these perform. Start on the 11th hole here. It's a par three. Nice fly, I guess, at least today. And I guess, well, let's see what this one is measuring at. It's always a long one, this, always a long one. 174 yards to the flag. This feels downwind off the left. I'm gonna go ridiculous. I'm gonna go with AI to start this video. <laughs> I could have this wrong. Eight iron right here. Now, come on, what are your thoughts on these first off? Like visually, I think the shelf appeal is really, really good. Little splash of red to mix in with the DynaPower sort of brand and everything that they stand by. Now, there's no question these are a game improvement iron. Look how chunky that sole is. But I really think if we're being perfectly honest, most of us should be probably going down that category. Eight iron in hand, one seven four to the flag. This feels a ridiculous club choice right now. Whoa, those heads are big down at the ball. I wanna say get down. I wanna say get down. <laughs> now I know it's downwind and we will be switching into the wind after we play this hole but well, that was ridiculous. That just flew 193 yards. Now, I don't know if you noticed, that went so high, like ridiculously high. I didn't even feel it come off the face, by the way. Slightly high-pitched, clunky sound. But if you think about it logically, right, that's what this iron is designed to do, help you get the ball in the air. That's some ridiculous distance. Right, I'm gonna try and hit another one here, tickle this one in. But first, I guess, what do you think of these down behind the ball? Like, look at the head shape right there. Definitely falls into that category of being oversized. The top edge is relatively thick, but what I quite like is the detail of how white those lines are on the grooves. I mean, that's not gonna last long. Can really see quite a offset. That's sort of this bit here, this sort of kinked in area. So if you're a golfer who misses it off to the right, this will certainly help you. Let's feather this one in a little bit more, shall we? See if you can do that, by the way. Feathered, that was hit so off the toe. I'll be interested to know where that goes. Oh, we definitely caught a slice of the left fringe. 182 yards. I literally hardly touched that. Let's have a little bit of a closer look at these irons, if I can get them all out the bag. Pencil bags for you, pulling every club out. So if I put these in order, you can see that the chunkiness, if I can get pitching wedge in the right place, and then six iron in there, you can see that chunkiness remains through the entirety of the set, all the way from your five iron down to your pitching wedge. And for the first time, Wilson have got their AI smart face. So essentially, this has been developed by a supercomputer to be more efficient across the face. So your off-center hits don't travel shorter, they travel longer. So I've got the pitching wedge, let's see. Oh, hello, let's see where these finished. Ball number two finished here, just caught a bit of the fringe. And ball number one, look at this. This is winter golf for you right here. Ball number one finished a little bit plugged. But in the grand scheme of things and the flags there, that ain't bad. Okay, so let's see 
Oh, mud on my white glove. Let's see how this pitching wedge is around means for those like finesse shots. Because, oh, that was really trying to be smooth. Because when you're trying a set of irons, it's not just how the long irons go, how do the scoring irons go. You have to be able to chip with them. Now, this is where this feels really, really clunky. And it feels like I would struggle to play that finesse shot. Now, this is an exact scenario where I would use a pitching wedge in my set. You know, like quite a bit of distance between the fringe and the flag. You just want to get one sort of bumping and rolling down there. Oh, that flew. That flew. That's it. <laughs> That was so out the middle. Look where I got that. Like, look at that piece of grass right in the middle. Like, I know pitch image is only a chip, but that felt fast off the face. So I really think this is something to think about. When you're looking for a set of irons in that game improvement category, which these 100% are, you need to think about how they chip and how they perform around the green. Now that head still looks big, doesn't it? But I really think that's something, I've got to put myself in the shoes of a game improvement category player that's not me being arrogant, I just mean like, that's what we would probably like the look of, right? It looks easy, it looks inviting. And I bet, just like with the driver, you didn't expect this with Wilson. Here we go, let's pop this one up. Had a bit of check on it. Hello. I take it back a little bit. I take it back. That felt much better on that chip. Okay, let's move on to the next, and I've got a real test here. Let's go down the 12 together and see what this height situation's all about. And what I mean is in those longer irons, the five iron and the six iron. There's a few trees down this fairway that I'm dying to know if it feels easy to get over them. Because again, game improvement category, these irons are designed to help you get but the ball up in the air. So these are those two trees right here we're gonna take on. Pretty long par four this too. So I've got five, I've got seven, I've got nine. How far are we from here? This feels ridiculous how far I'm back. 216 yards to the flag. And this is those trees right there we've got to go over. And you can just see the flag popping up somewhere here. Right, okay, let's see this five iron. So it goes without saying that these lofts are insanely strong. This five iron right here is 21 degrees. Now, when I hear that, I then worry that I can't get it in the air, but hopefully the Wilson engineers have sort of done something here to offset them. Now, I mentioned that you couldn't see that bottom lip on the eight iron. However, when you're now getting to the five iron, it is becoming a little bit more apparent. Like if you look down here now, this is the five iron, you can just see that little back creeping in. And other notable bits of tech on all the irons are these 3.0 power holes. These are being reconfigured for this model of iron, essentially to give you more power, more control, and give you faster ball speed. This club has an insane amount of offset, which for a long iron, when most of us hit them off to the right in that game improvement category, I don't think I mind that for people. I really don't. That was a lot, that was rip by the way. That was a lot flatter than I thought. Ron, we're dancing. 217 yards. But after hitting the eight iron, I was expecting it to be a lot higher. Now granted, it was maybe a little bit towards the toe, but the one thing to point out here is that if the longer irons go a little bit flatter, if you've got a slower swing speed, you may find it hard to get in the air. Now, I'm not saying they go flat. That definitely did climb when we got above those trees, which are significantly high in a short space of time. It just wasn't as high as I thought it was gonna go. Okay, let's hit some seven irons, let's hit some nine irons and see where they finish. So we mentioned loft already of the five iron, which is 21 degrees. But let's just give you a few things that you need to know so far. There's one iron we still need to hit, which we're gonna take to the stroke index one here, the 13th. You know what, I can see those balls, they're not finished half bad. Okay, so four iron is 18 degrees. As we mentioned, five iron is 21, six iron's 24, seven iron's 27, eight iron's 32, nine iron's 37, pitching wedge is 42, and then if you did have the gap wedge and the sand wedge, that would be 47 and 53. Now I don't have the gap wedge or the sand wedge or the four iron. Okay. So what can I report today on how these irons are going? There are considerably oversized head. This is what you need to know if you're thinking that these should be something you should look at. And by the way, I think they're really underrated as a brand and really underrated as a club because right now I'm thinking that there's serious value for money in that game improvement category. Now listen, right? 
Oversized head, check, that's what you want for a game improvement iron. Considerable amount of offset, and I know this one because of looking at it, but all those shots that I just hit with the seven iron, the nine iron, and even the five iron, had that right to left curve on them. Now, for most of you, you're thinking, whoa, sign me up, and to be honest, I am too. Even those ones that I've not hit great and slightly toe side have still flown. I've still felt good. I don't get that horrible vibration up the head, which has to be an absolute bonus. The only thing I would say, because the longer irons are very strong lofted, especially the five iron, I mean, I can't speak for the four iron, but being 18 degrees, I would put, probably put it in the same category. If you are a slow swing speed player, you may find it hard to get it up in the air. Now, I'm not saying you won't get it in the air. I'm just saying it didn't go as high as I was expecting and as high as what I hit the seven iron, the eight iron and the nine iron. Right, okay, let's see where these are finished. Then we've got to hit some six irons. I'm just gonna hit a pitch as well, just there. I'm seriously impressed though so far because they're like, compared to like the Mizunos or even the Titleist comparisons, they're like half the price. And walking down here, this is where they're finished. And if you're wondering, <laughs> Why is the flag now back right when it was in the middle? Well, the green keepers just moved it as I walked down. Cheers, boys. I want to try just a little finesse shot here. See if I can finesse one in here with this pitching wedge. Go in. <laughs> you see how quick that just stopped? A little bit of finesse. <laughs> so I've just been having a little look on the internet about these irons and just really what a few of the forums are saying about them. The reviews are saying, incredibly fast off the face, well, we're seeing that, but I've not given you any ball speed numbers just yet. So I'm gonna mix up what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit some six irons, like I say, but I wanna hit some eight irons and some five irons as well, all from the same spot. Just give you some numbers, some real detailed numbers. They also say they're easy to draw, forgiving from a wide area. Yeah, I, I really feel that that is what's happening so far. Excellent value for money. Yeah, I can't argue with what price these are, just over 600 quid compared to the competitors. We're definitely in that category. And interestingly, like, <laughs> these have been voted some of the Editor's Choice Awards clubs. Interesting, and I've just found this on some forums. I really feel like they're sort of living up to that. Okay, so, let's give you some numbers. Uh, where is our five iron? There is our six iron, and we'll go seven iron, we'll go those three. Okay, let's get some numbers. So let's start with six iron first. I was just thinking this then. I like how shiny the bottom of this club is. Whether that lasts or not, I do not know. Let's hit a couple of sixes though, before we go five and seven. Get a decent lie, Alex. They sound clunky, that's how I describe that. That one climbed a little bit, a little bit off to the right. Wasn't the best hit in the world. I think that wind's a little bit further left than I think. They sound quite clunky. Sound uh, high pitched and, so it's so hard to describe sound. Feel is definitely fast off the face. I mean, that just carried there 203 yards. So look there, 203 yards of carry, 132 long, 13.8, which is relatively low. That was hit ripped. So that wind is strong, you know, it's sort of buffering that ball. That was it, so good. 209 yards. Okay, let's give you some numbers. Let's hit a 1-5 iron. See how flat that is? Like you notice the difference between the six iron height and that five iron, which with this wind today is absolutely ideal. Like you saw how much flatter that flight was. 228 yards of carry. That's bloody ridiculous. 144.1 ball speed, and look how low that launch was. And it did feel low, didn't it? It did go low. Again, a bit of a clunky sound, but not a bad feel off the face. It feels so fast. And well, yeah, it clearly is. Just to reiterate my point, <laughs> by the way, that for a five iron distance. And just to reiterate my point, apex of 78. Really quite low for a five iron. Let's just finish with hitting another seven. Gorgeous shot. 
Again, I want to comment on that flight difference. I know these are all looking a little bit muddy right now, but I think these are some really underrated irons that we should maybe think about testing because I don't think a lot of people will. If you did enjoy this review of these Wilson Dynapower Game Improvement Irons, don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell. Also, you suggest what we test next. So just get down below in the comments and let me know what you'd like me to test here out on the golf course in the real world.